Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, I'm Christian and I have your word for the day. The Bible is the instruction manual for the Christian life. We are to learn from Jesus and emulate him and how he lived. Today's passage is focused on the first four verses of Matthew chapter 8. There are several gems for us to take away from this. I'd like to share a few of them with you. This is what it says. Verse 1, large crowds followed Jesus as he came down the mountainside. I'm going to stop right there. Large crowds followed Jesus, leaning on his every word, and yet we never see Jesus act puffed up and cocky. He always displayed great humility. Let's read verse 2. Suddenly, a man with leprosy approached him and knelt before him. Lord, the man said, if you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. So I'm going to stop again. Jesus had the attention of a large group of people and up walks a leper. Jesus didn't have his disciples block and tackle the sick, contagious man. They didn't shun him away and say, you are yucky and Jesus is very busy right now. They knew their teacher's heart, his priorities and his love for all people. The sick man's faith is evident in him saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. This display of faith from the leper had to have an impact on Jesus. The leper acknowledges, Jesus, you can heal me. The only part that was uncertain of his request was, Lord, if you are willing. Let's read verse 3. Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said, be healed and instantly the leprosy disappeared. Jesus wasn't self-important, keeping his attention on the crowd, following him and hanging on his every word. Jesus also wasn't disgusted by the man's leprosy. Leprosy was a horrific disease where the sufferer's skin was literally falling off. Jesus reached out and touched him, something that was known to be risky, and the man likely had not felt the touch of another for quite some time. Jesus says, I am willing, and be healed. Instantly, the leprosy disappeared. Jesus Jesus changes this man's life with just a few words. Jesus repaired the damage this disease had done to this man's body. Instantly, this man's life improved remarkably. Reading on from verse 4 on, Then Jesus said to him, Don't tell anyone about this. Instead, go to the priest And let him examine you. Take along the offering required in the law of Moses for those who have been healed of leprosy. This will be a public testimony that you have been cleansed. Jesus asked him to remain silent, go to the priest to be checked out, and follow the law of Moses by presenting the required offering. I encourage you to read Leviticus 14 verses 2 through 32 to understand the required steps to perform this particular offering. It's not a simple, easy offering. It is in fact quite complex with many steps. After reading it, you will have a renewed appreciation that we are not living in Old Testament times. Here are my takeaways on what we should learn from this passage. One, Whether you have large crowds following you or not, remain humble. Don't think of yourself as more important than others. Two, be willing to stop and listen to others who may be less fortunate than you. Three, have faith in Jesus. Like the leper, trust and know that he can heal your hurts, sickness, and pains. And four, Jesus cares for you. He wants to hear from you and he loves you. I hope this is an encouragement to you today. Have a great day.